Hey, that guy did the whistle! The whistle is the trailer! Yeah! Um, but there is a continent in this in this world that is uncultured, is uncivilized, civilization lies. Doesn't have anybody there. And I guess maybe that is the uh outsider's fault. Ow! Yeah, it just sounds like a perfectly good reason. It's just like the outsiders is like, ha ha ha. Let's make people crazy. No, it's not cold for a bath. If anything, a cold bath is pretty good for someone, you know, with my skills. It's like, hey, here's me leaping everywhere. I'm getting a good workout and then a cold bath to make all the troubles go away. Anyways, I'm ready to go, Samuel. Alrighty. Didn't kill anyone. I killed one hot- What? Who? You f- One- One person. And I don't even know who I killed. Oh well. Hey, at least he's still asleep. They set <laughs> Somehow. Up a cell for Sokolov in the old kennel. Shackles and everything. It'll be a shock him waking up in the straw and old dog poop. But from what I hear, he's woken up worse places. Guess we all have it back. <laughs> okay. It'd be funny if he just like woke up, panicked, and jumped off the boat and got wet. Hey guys, I did the mission. Low chaos and all. Well done, Sokolov. Well done. I doubt a dozen soldiers could have done it better. Sokolov's knowledge will enable us to strike at the Lord Regent directly, and ultimately help you get your life back. Soon, we won't have to hide in the shadows. The royal physician is brilliant, but he was a fool to protect the Lord Regent. Sokolov gave us the elixir, the war machine. He could have made us a great nation. Now he pays the price for siding with the tyrant. You have my thanks, sir. If you wish to get some sleep, now is a good time. Okie dokie. I'm gonna go talk to Emily, alright? See? Saying goodnight to Emily. Alright. Uh, Emily's up there. Sup? Ooh, yeah. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher, but today, consider me a humble craftsman here to serve. Just give me some stuff. All right, boot stealth. Now, what is that exactly? Reduced footstep sounds. Okay, sounds good. Further reduced footstep sounds. Good. And then we don't really need to worry about all these other things, really. Except for maybe crossbow reload. That's a pretty good one to have. That's about it. I don't. I don't need anything. Because uh, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to kill people or that many people. Actually, wait. Normally, I'm a natural philosopher. Can we just today, skip straight to me buying some stuff from you? Craftsman here to serve. Okay. Uh, I need sleeping darts. There we go. And that's about all that I'll need. Yep. All right. Just need these sleeping bolts. I wish I could increase my my slots for it, but oh well. Alright, so how many runes do I have now? I have two runes. Which won't really let me do much except for... Do this whole build up adrenaline. Actually, you know what? I think that's what I have to get in order to use the adrenaline. I guess that makes sense. It's just like a passive thing, and then when I have enough adrenaline... With this enhancement... Your actions in combat allow you to build up adrenaline. Assassination, attacking with a sword, blocking and drop assassination, all increase adrenaline. Once you've built up a, your adrenaline, you can initiate a powerful sword attack that will kill an enemy with one blow. Level 2 allows you to build up adrenaline faster and enables a double, a double adrenaline kill against multiple enemies within range. See, that sounds cool, but I don't, I don't, I don't really, I'm not worried about that. Okay. So here's what I need to do. I'm basically just going to increase everything that I have. Um, so I'm going to need five, nine, eleven, and nineteen. I need nineteen more runes. And I think, I, I think I can get that. 
Uh, I'll increase vitality. Because then I can get my health regeneration. Yeah, yeah, see. I'm working on a new arc pylon. It will perform absolutely stunning acts of destruction, I expect. Now that we have Sokolov as a guest, ask him how he deluded the Academy into making him royal physician. Ask him how he stole my elixir for me. Will you do that for me? I could try, but, you know, I doubt he'll admit to anything. Alrighty. Let's go wish Emily good night. Because that is just something I personally would like to do. After doing grown up business, after all. Hey, Emily! Please be as quiet as you can. It took forever for Emily to fall asleep. Aww. Well, that's Poor nice. Dear. It's okay, Emily. I'm here. She seems happier when you're here. Though I know you have important things to do. Out there, in the city. Well, at least she'll have, she'll just be safe. That's, that's, that's what I care about. Please, please leave a candle for me. I, it gets dark in here and I, I can't see my mother. I just want a candle. Where is Corvo? I'm, 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 I'm here. This character's busy. Okay. Well, I'm going to read some of these things and listen to some of this other stuff. She knows it all, even if she chooses not to employ it. She'd rather hold her spoon by the wrong end and pretend it's a sword. Then suddenly she changes and she's all manners, asking for a tea party. I tried to oblige her, but I have little to work with. No proper plate instead of a cloth napkin. I've only the bar rack. Ale mugs instead of teacups. I've asked for things befitting her, but they have their minds on other things. For now... Emily and I decided to make a pretend dinner using paper and little things she's found here and there. On the floor, I suppose. Not right for a princess, but it'll have to do. Aw, you're a nice lady, Kalista. She and her uncle, the last of the Karnak family. Fortunes have been won here, and the lives have been lost. You know, have I read this? This new year has not started, and thus that time. Oh yeah, this is like the new year, the, the new year festival stuff. I, I was like, what is the Fuke Fest when I was reading that other one? But okay. Oh hey, there's a bone charm available here. Okay, that's cool. I didn't even realize it. Attention citizens, this evening the streets adjacent to Pendleton Manor will be closed for a private ceremony following the tragic loss of two of our city's best and brightest, the Lords Custis and Morgan Pendleton. All holdings and parliamentary votes now fall for Trevor Pendleton. Abandoned apartment key needed. Oh, come on, no! This time of morning. Damn it. Hmm. I love how it always says unbreakable door on all the doors. Like, as if we've tried Attention to break them or if it's even possible. Corvo? Ah. Can I tell you something? What's up? I have a secret retreat nearby that may come in handy if the city watch ever kicks in the doors. It's an abandoned apartment across the street from the bar. I don't think anyone else here knows about it, but I'm guessing I can trust you. The key is stashed under my bunk upstairs. If there's ever trouble, you can go there for safety. I know I will. Hey, thanks. Well, that's exactly what I need to get that bone charm. Alrighty, let's turn on my dark vision. I don't know where her bunk is, but I'll look around, second floor. Nice. Hello, Lydia. Hmm. At the very least, there's a lot of money to be had here. Possessed whale oil. Found crystal, hemlock essence. Yeah, those are all nice. Wait, can I talk to all these people? Like, one-on-one? -on -one? Lord Pendleton has departed for the evening to attend to matters at the manor. It concerns the departure of his brothers. I'm sure you understand. Yeah, I know. So what's up? Don't worry. We won't start the interrogation without you. Good. Where do I find a good meal around here? If you think prison food's bad, you should see what the Abbey serves its captives. I think the overseers make it themselves. Ha! <laughs> He's insulting their cooking skills. 
uh, Abnormality or Admirality and the Fleet, a uh, Gaffer's Tale, Volume One. Oh man, do I not want to read this? Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'll open it up. I think this is one of the only times I'll ever do this, really, because, yeah. The royal physician is Wait, Havelock, law out. against you four. He's returning now with Anton Sokolov over his shoulder. Simply amazing. Not only can Corvo project lethal force, he can do an extraction that I didn't think possible. And soon the two greatest minds of the Empire will be here, together. If I get these two rivals to cooperate, they could create weapons and tools of unimaginable power. If I could command both of them. Well, I'll wait and measure their dispositions towards one another before following that line of thought. Have Log Log Entry 3. Pelton was willing to go further than I thought. He served up his own flesh and blood to the cause, and I can see that he's truly loyal to the Empire. Could I have done the same if my brother was still alive today? Probably. Undoubtedly. Many innocents must be sacrificed for the good of Dunwall. Every loyal watchman that falls beneath Corvo's blade is giving his life for the Empire. It's been days since our men were dis dispatched to, dis to stash weapons for Corvo in the old sewer. They have not returned, so I can only hope they succeed in getting the packages delivered. Piero spent considerable time and resources making those things. If I could find a way to mass-produce them, the Dunwall, the Dunwall Navy could secure its place as the dominant force on the globe. But back to Corvo. Can he actually break out of Cold Ridge? And if so, will he make his way here? I personally give him odds of 1 in 5. <laughs> uh. I'll have the servants see to his new quarters. Take a night's rest, and then you can help interrogate him. Pendleton votes. Havelock. Bravo, sir. The Lord Regent is furious about losing the most recent vote at Parliament. He was counting on the support of the Pendleton family and expected limited resistance. Just as you said it would, losing the Pendleton voting bloc has really slowed him down. And since the Lord Regent's defense budget failed as well, he's getting desperate financially. It seems that most of the sick coin he's using to keep the city watch going is coming from a close ally. We suspect it's a powerful noble woman who is perhaps his mistress. Ah, so that's where we're trying to find the mistress. Gotcha. Well, I need to find uh, that key after stealing everybody's stuff. <laughs> Damn it, where is that key? Cecilia has a sta uh, key stashed upon her under her bed. Aha! Got it! Now I can go ahead and get my stuff. Okay, let me just get out of this way. Or get out of this area, rather. At the same time as grabbing all that I can. Lady Emily Caldwell was abducted some six months past at the moment of her mother's terrible murder. Anyone with information leading to the location or return of the daughter of our beloved late Empress is required to speak to the City Watch at once. Hmm, <laughs> I love how they're doing that now. Nice bone charm. What'd I get? Scavenger, you find ammo in greater amounts. Meh. Meh, you know, it's not, I, don't, I don't really have any want for that one. Ooh, hey. Health elixir. Good. So is there anything else in this apartment that I could probably want? Processed bell oil. That's good. All right. Well, that's a good place to find and a good place to hide. Let's get back to my re uh, my room, which I can just do this or not. So just hop, God. Who uses their actual limbs to do stuff? Oh, right, me. <laughs> Did they put anything in my room that I didn't want? Whoa, what? Note from Piero. Corvo, thank you for getting me a live weeper. This is going to be invaluable for my old friend at the Academy of Natural Philosophy, as living plague specimens are quite difficult to procure. Rest assured, my colleague will handle the situation as humanely as possible. Oh, well, that's fantastic. Thanks for the sleep darts. I don't need them. Lord Pelton reward. Corvo, this matter with my brother has not, has not been pleasant at all, so I don't wish to discuss it further. However, I really must thank you. I've heard that you've found some other means of neutralizing them without taking their lives. Ingenious. Wherever they are, even if they are miserable, they are alive at least. So perhaps someday I will see them again. <laughs> yeah, and you won't have to worry about them ever talking to you. Uh, right. <sighs> Corvo. Ah, uh, that. Ah. 
You were making funny faces while you were sleeping. Don't watch me while I sleep, lady. I decided to nap here in your room while Callista was taking her bath. She told me if there's ever trouble, I should always run here. Oh, okay. Well, I'm fine with that. You can stay whenever you want. Callista will come get me when she's done with her bath. Thanks, Corvo. It makes me feel better. You'll be fine, Emily. All right. I got some business to attend to. Is there anything you want to talk about? And sorry about the mess in this area. It's not my fault because I certainly would have cleaned that up. But yeah, been busy. So how are you? Are you? How are you? Ooh, sorry, words mixing up. How are you, Emily? Oh, that's a really big and complicated book. I'm gonna leave you to it because I know how people. I know how I'd be if someone interrupted my reading. All right, let's get to Sokolov. Bone charm, bone charm, nothing. Okay. Huh. Alrighty. Pendleton, what do we have going on in here? I hope Sokolov will cooperate. I'd hope to have him paint my portrait again one day. Just me this time. Ha! <laughs> Instead of you and all your brothers? Yeah. Alright, let's go talk to them. Interrogation time! Royal physician. I believe you and Corvo knew each other in former days. Unlike you, our friend Corvo. God damn! Someone else on fire? Or some shit? That's a lot of fire trucks. That came out of nowhere. <laughs> Sorry. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get what. It's back into the game, real life distractions. Knows what loyalty means. Bah, I am loyal to my inner spirit. You are the one consorting with the most wanted man in the Empire. It's my belief that Corvo was innocent in the death of the Empress. And the former spymaster, or the Lord Regent, as he calls himself, is a ruthless tyrant bent on destroying this city, the heart of the Empire. You are mistaken if you think there's love between me and our Lord Regent. But whatever you intend to do here, I assure you, I am beyond petty scare tactics. If I don't scare you, Sokolov, perhaps these rats will. Even if they don't carry clay, I've heard of a swarm of rats stripping a child's body to the bone in half a minute. I've heard worse. How long do you think it'll be before you talk? Before you beg to talk? Rats? Is that the company you keep now, Admiral? It's the company you keep that interests us so long. We know you painted a portrait of the Lord Regent's mistress. The very aristocrat who is funding the military with her fortune. She is the key to the Lord Regent's control over the city, and we must have her name. Sorry, Admiral. I cannot help you. Oh well. Release the rats. Do I have to talk to him now? You're part of this rabble. But I know you have your reasons. Yes, he does. All we need is the name of the Lord Regent's mistress. It's very simple. I elect not to tell you. You will have to force the words from me, and I warn you, my willpower is quite legendary. Uh-huh. Let's see if the rats are hungry. Or perhaps I can find a bribe for you, Sokolov. Ugh. A curious strategy. Of which I approve. What the fuck? <laughs> you gonna put your head through the bars? Okay. You can release the rats any time. What are you thinking, Corvo? I'm thinking you release these rats, which are inside of a dog cage, and then you, and then he I begs for mercy. Use a drink. What does this do? Oh, there's a trap door there. Ooh. Not the swill to be found here, but the fine spirits. Can I do anything in this area? Like, say, drop in there and convince him myself by beating the hell out of him? Or something? I don't know. Yeah, fuck it. Whatever. What does this do? What is this? What is this? What is this? I want treasure. I like treasure. Gapper. Give it to me! Come on. There we go. <laughs> I don't know why it was so drastically buried under there. Yo. I'll leave it to you. 
But if you get tired of questioning Sokolov, I'll let you know that his taste for King Street brandy is legendary. I think Piero has a bottle. It might help persuade him. If not, well, call me if it gets entertaining. You got it. All right. Well, you're already heading in there, but whatever. Yeah. Let's go to. Let's go and talk to Piero. Ow. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, why is this closed? Corvo, I'm upstairs, taking care of something important. Find me if you need anything. Got it. Let us all praise their choice. The dance of investiture will take place without. Piero. What are you doing? Oh, he's watching her take a bath. Oh my God, Piero, are you serious? Piero. I know it looks. I was inventing a new kind of lock. The tumblers, shaped like snowflakes. <laughs> the truth is. There is no snowflake lock. I was just, you know, looking through the lock. Uh-huh. I'd rather you didn't spy on people here, Piero. Who you watch in the bathtub is none of my concern. I couldn't bear it if she knew. I know you're a man of honor, and I also know that you can kill me at any time. And for both of these reasons, I apologize and Beg for your discretion. Well, eh, she's not that great. Hello. Can't you see? I'm about to bathe. About to? You're already in there. Maybe you'd like company. I understand. It was an accident. We have such a hard time maintaining privacy in such a crowded house, don't we? I totally knew you were in here. In by respecting the property Is there anything good? Oh! Ah, I can't join. I can't believe this. When I took this job, they told me I'd work with good men. I'll leave you now. <laughs> Thank you for being a gentleman. Now, if you'll excuse me. Maybe you should lock the door. That's the point of it having a lock. Just saying. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell on Piero. That's a jerk move. I know. I know what he. I know what he's doing. Piero, we need to discuss bribery. I'm grateful for your discretion in the technical matter we spoke of. It's well known that Sokolov is virtually addicted to a rare liquor called King Street Brandy. The taste is revolting, but I happen to have a bottle. However. I am reluctant to give it to you for Sokolov. It cost me quite a lot. It is very expensive stuff. A blend of rare Pendician spices and oh, it's Pendician. a drop of whale oil. Would you care to purchase it? Or I could tell the lady. Sokolov is a potential and ally. I'll take the brandy. Ally. Ally, ally. How much is it? Oh, please. that's not expensive at all. Shut the hell up. It's very expensive. Man, buying ammunition for my guns is very expensive. Shut up. I could, I could also buy runes. Where'd the runes go? Why can't I buy runes from you? The fuck? My arc pylon will eclipse the old Sokolov model. I don't care. Sell me a, a rune. If you require my unique services, we can quickly return to my shop. I'd feel bad if he literally only had like one rune and now it's disappeared from his inventory forever because that would suck. I could have bought I could have bought a rune. I don't mind losing 500. Huh? What else am I going to use it on? But whatever. Yo. It's not that I object to holding him hostage for a while since he's been aiding the Lord Regent, but it's a shame. I always found him rather charming. Yeah, yeah well. We got his bro we we got his bottle. King Street Brandy. I didn't know any more existed. It is an extraordinary gift. I see I'm dealing with men of taste. 
I can tell you this much. She was always referred to as Lady Boyle. I painted her to be sure, but I never saw her face or learned her first name. You see, I painted her from behind. I assure you, she still makes a striking portrait. But I do not know which Boyle she is. I was to be introduced to her at a masked ball in her honor this very night. But I will miss that party, it seems. A masked ball at the Boyle estate? Tonight, the timing is perfect, Corvo. But the Boyles are wealthy and ruthless, so security will be very tight. Of course, you already have a mask, don't you, Corvo? He's right. You will be able to mingle with them once you're on the ground. You'll have to find out which of the Boyle women is connected to the Lord Regent and take her out in whatever way you can devise. We're very close now. If you do this tonight, you'll be able to strike at the Lord Regent himself and put Emily on the throne. May the wind favor you. Okay, good. Well, maybe we'll get something from Sokolov. I swear I never saw her face. Although I can vouch that her hindquarters are the finest in the city. <laughs> and perhaps the Empire itself. <laughs> oh, nice. So what is this? Call to the Spears Volume 2? Oh, well, he's going to have a great time succumbing to the Outsider. What does this do? How do you even get down there? I don't know, but let's get out. Let's head out. Oh, hi, Pendleton. I hear you're off to the Boyle's little bash tonight. I have just a tiny favor I'd like to ask you. Could you give this note to Lord Shaw? Sure. You'll know him. A rather brusque man wearing a wolf's mask. In fact, he may be looking for me. Well, I hope it's a good note. Okay, looking for a dude with a wolf mask. Of course. Did you ever see pirates? And did you sink me? Of course. Dozens. Oh, yes. But that's not for young girls to hear about. Oh, shush. But I will be Empress, won't I? And then I'll have to sink lots of enemy ships myself. And that's what Empresses do mostly, isn't it? Of course. I knew it! I read that some pirate ships have witches aboard that can cause storms and make whales do what they want. Is that true? Yes. Uh, mostly. Maybe we should be quiet now. Very well. Aw. Hey, Emily, what's up? You're busy. Aw. Everything was so fancy at the Golden Cat, but in a different way than the palace was fancy. The old Madame Prudence said that all the ladies are princesses and the men come to admire them. Ha! <laughs> right. Oh, th yeah, they start with a P word, but it's not princess. My doll, Mrs. Pilsen, was there the day my mother died. We both saw it. I bet Mrs. Pilsen would have liked it there. I hope she's safe, wherever she is. If I ever see my doll again, I'm going to declare a holiday across the Empire. <laughs> uh, that's cute, Emily. All right, I, uh, we'll see if we can find your doll one day. But for now, I've got another lady to deal with. <laughs> hey. Master Corvo, what did I just see? You just saw me teleport, shush. A masked ball. You happen to have the most clever mask of them all. Yep. And I constantly take it off and then put it back on right when I leave. Oh my. Uh-huh. I'm a magician. Consider seeing Piero before we set sail to the Grand Ball. Maybe need some potions or arrows or whatever you use. Yeah, I don't need it. I got a costume enough. ball, huh? Well, that'll be fun, but not for everybody. You ready? Yep, hit me up. I like how the inside of the mask is all red and fancy. I don't know if that's like to be comfortable on his on my face or something, but yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> Lady Boyle's last party. You've learned that the Lord Regent's strongest supporter is Lady Boyle. However, three women in the Bo Boyle family are referred to as Lady Boyle. The wife of the late Lord Boyle and her sisters. Sokolov painted Lady Boyle from behind under unusual circumstances and does not know which is actually the Lord Regent's ally. You're being sent to the posh Boyle estate on the night of a costume party in order to determine which Lady Boyle you must eliminate. Well, I'm sure I can just look at their behinds and see if, you know, if one has a really, really righteous ass compared to the others, that's probably her. Just saying. Just saying. 
I didn't think there'd be tall boys patrolling here tonight. Watch yourself, Corvo. They don't fool around. The good news is, once you get to the party, that mask of yours will land right in. Enjoy your evening out with the folk of quality. Better you than me. How do we deal with these tall boys? Oh boy. I could just possess a fish. Oi! Fishy! Damn it! Would you get closer? Mission clue added. Uh, one of the boys in the herd enemy must be uncovered. Blend in at the mass party to identify the target. Okay. Actually, you know what? I want to see something. I want to see how hard it is to take one of these guys. Attention, you! Please, please Tall boy! I declare you exterminated. Tidbits! Yeah! Oh yeah! This is where it begins! Boom, baby! <laughs> uh oh. Hey! Calm down there, broski! Ooh! Ow! Ooh, come on. Oh, I've got you now. Uh-huh. I've got plenty of bullets to fight you guys off. Okay, where's the next where, where's the next tall boy? Also, hey look, a lot of bullets for me to loot from them. Sweet. Of course my gun's not all that great because, you know, it's kind of like the default gun that we got at the beginning of the game, but whatever. Yo! Alright, fuck it. Slowing down time. And now we dispense justice. Man, you just won't take a bullet in your thing. There we go. Ooh, I wonder if we can do that. Hey, rats. Someone get help. Oh, shush. Hmm. So tall boys aren't that hard if you just aim for their well oil tanks on their backsides. That seems to be like their ultimate weak spot. Gotcha, 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 and look at that party. Now the question is, where can I go? Do this, ha-ha! And then blink over! Hello! What <laughs> Try to blend in? I don't think so. Uh-oh. I will find out who the lady is by brute force! Yeah! Oh no! Whoops, slow down time and oh, I went flying! That was way too many enemies. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go back to my quick save. Where I wasn't shoving myself straight into the enemy's faces. There we go.